All right, guys, so today I'm gonna to be talking about the Wicked Edge and is it worth it? Now, I've had my Wicked Edge for a little while and admittedly, I probably haven't sharpened as many knives as I was originally anticipating, but I have certainly sharpened a good number of knives and most importantly, what I've done with quite a few knives is actually reprofile them. And in fact, just before doing this review, I decided to reprofile my SC6 and I set it back from a original 25 or roughly 25 degree per side angle to a roughly 18 degree per side angle. So I wanted to make this blade a little bit more slicey. And while it's not absolutely perfect on both sides, probably more a little bit of user error in trying to still work out all the kinks of this system. I wanted to, to I wanted to do a video about the pros and the cons of this system and what you can expect out of uh, per knife performance should you get this sharpener because a lot of people especially like myself we end up you know collecting a lot of knives and get to the point where it's like well you have a lot of knives but how do you keep them all sharp and so you want to find a solution that is good and effective for being consistent and quick and also you know when you have expensive knives expensive knives that are you know twice the price of even this se6 you want to make sure that you can put a quality edge on your knife and you're not damaging or destroying that blade so i ended up going with the wicked edge itself or the wicked edge a pretty base level but still quite expensive pro sharpener and it cost me about six hundred dollars so let's talk about some of the pros and the cons that i found through using the the wicked edge knife sharpening system on outdoor blades edc blades and much more okay so first off let's start okay so first off let's start off with the pros of this system so i think the biggest pro for me is the speed at which you can sharpen and i think that's the biggest selling point for all wicked edge systems is the fact that with the wicked edge you have two sharpening stones or two sharpening uh i guess you have two sharpening stones and that means that you can hit each edge at a consistent angle and essentially once you kind of learn how to do it and we'll talk about the cons in a little bit it does take a little bit of uh, practice but once you get good at it you can sharpen blades very well very consistently very very quickly and it's actually in my opinion very impressive how fast the system works once you get dialed in and when it comes to sharpening a blade it is extremely quick now reprofile a blade is a little bit of a longer process but that's also partly in due to the fact of what steel you're trying to reprofile what angle you're trying to take it down to so obviously from a 25 to an 18 degree angle you're going to remove quite a bit of material as opposed to say like a 20 or a 25 to like a 22 or 20 degree angle less material so you know depending on what you're trying to do with reprofiling and re uh changing the grind will dictate the speed but overall when it comes to sharpening this is an extremely fast system in addition to that another pro is that it makes reprofiling because of that speed and because of the dual angle or the fact that you can hit to both sides of the edge at the same time it does make reprofiling a blade if that's something that you like to do a lot more tenable in addition to that too it is also in addition to that, I also feel like this gives the edge a better than factory uh, kind of I also feel like this system does a better job than factory edge so the end product is what i would consider better than factory and of course once again that's slightly contingent on the factory something like a chris reeve knife is going to be probably on par with this system but if say you're buying a benchmade or an sc or just about any factory kind of mass produced blade this will be a better edge in the end than those um so other pros to this that I would consider in my opinion is once you kind of get past that learning curve, I feel like the uh, I feel like the Wicked Edge is very easy to use and it is also very easy to set up. Once you have everything kind of dialed in, uh, it is very easy to use and very easy to set up. So now let's talk about some cons to this system. So the first and foremost is going to be the price. Because of that dual sharpening stone setup and the fact that it has to be basically two consistent angle sharpeners, this is the Wicked Edge is usually about twice the price of any conventional uh, system, if not sometimes more. 
it's definitely, though I will say, it's definitely about double the price of something like an Edge Pro Apex. So that's what you can expect. It is expensive, but you do get literally two sharpeners in one, in a way. So aside from that, there's also the learning curve. That's probably one of the biggest things to the sharpener is it does take a while or a little while to get used to how you, you know, use both stones. And if you want to get fast and good with this system, there is a definite learning curve. In addition to that too, something that I found out through sharpening a lot of my wilderness blades is that this is not a the best sharpening system for thick knives and really it starts to taper off about anything more than 3 16 of an inch thick and you're going to start to struggle with the clamp actually holding the blade securely so if you are trying to do anything like a quarter inch thick you know survival blade the wicked edge is probably not going to be the best sharpening system for you now luckily for me i have a preference towards 5 30 seconds and under in thickness of my blades so luckily it's not too big of an issue for me but you do really want to consider you know how thick are the blades you're trying to sharpen and are they too thick because quarter inch thick will be actually pretty hard uh, to use without some kind of modified setup on the wicked edge of course too it should go almost without saying that most of your specialty like recurve blades and stuff like that are not going to be super easy or if at all possible sharpenable on the wicked edge system it really does prefer plain flat edges that are easy to sharpen so do keep that in mind things like your convex ground blades as well will not be the greatest or easiest to sharpen though i will say that it does come with strops so you can strop your convex edges to sharpen them other things for me, and I think these are a little bit less of a con, but definitely noticeable, is that there's a lot of moving parts to the Wicked Edge system. So part of that learning curve is understanding, you know, how to get everything dialed in. Of course, like I said, you have to set two consistent angles, one for each stone that you're sharpening. So there's more moving parts to it and more things that can go wrong. In addition to that too, because of how the stone system works, so you have those two stones that essentially go over metal guide um, poles or guides and so for each grit say you have you know you have your eight and your a thousand grit for instance there you have two stones that have your eight and one thousand and then you have two stones that are your four six hundred or four and six hundred and then two stones that are your 100 200 and if you want to go up you have two kind of stones for your leather strop you have two for your i believe 1500 and 2000 grit so it ends up being a lot of stones so it ends up like with an epa or an edge pro apex you would have you know one stone for you know each grit uh, subsequently so for this you have two stones for each so there are a lot of parts so you definitely want to keep that in mind for storage because there's a lot of pieces to it luckily it's not too big of a deal for me but i do sometimes feel like there is a lot of pieces to the epa that you have to stir to the wicked edge that you have to store so for me who would I recommend this for having used it? I would say that the Wicked Edge works best for people who have a large knife collection and regularly use them, regularly need to maintain them. If you run a knife sharpening service, this would also be a really good setup because it's very quick to get very good edges. And as well, I would say if you're a knife modifier, this is a good system because it's very good at reprofiling edges to dial them in and tune them in. Also, I would say that this is a good system if you are a custom knife maker. I think this is a really good way to you know, make sure that your product, your end product is just a cut above the rest because you, know, you can grind out your bevels and everything on a belt sander at a high grit, but the Wicked Edge really helps put that fine toothed edge that's really going to last a while and be very clean, very precise. And once again, the end product will be very uh, usable and enjoyable by your uh, customers. So if you are any of those groups, I would say that the Wicked Edge could be worth it. Uh, they are expensive to get into upfront cost, but nothing really does compare with the speed and the rate that you can get out of these blades. And once again, so long as you're willing to sit down, take the time to learn it and get consistent uh, with it, it will give you consistent results.
So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you enjoyed my kind of experience with it. Like I said, I did reprofile this SC6 just for the, not quite just for the fun of it, but I wanted to kind of thin it out a little bit, make it a little bit more slicey and really test that uh, Wicked Edge. It did a good job with the full six inch blade. And uh, yeah, it's, it is a really good setup once you get used to it and learned it is expensive, but in the end, if you need that performance and that speed, it's hard to find another sharpener on the market that can match it. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.